Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the manufacturing of Merrick Machine Company here located in Allen, Nebraska. Today, for what we have for you is the uh, Merrick original product line that we have. We've got the auto rotisserie. We've got some other clips that are online, but we've got a new improvement to the uh, auto rotisserie. We've actually got an indexing system. You say, what the heck's an indexing system? Well, the advantage to you, the customer, is real simple. You've got a series of pins in a circular pattern, but they're offset. So in this case, you want to start working on the car, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this pin. The car will actually spin around. It spins pretty easy. Why does it spin real easy? Well, let's get to that real fast. We've actually got bearings. There's two bearings on this end and two on the opposite end, the right-hand side of the screen. It allows the operator to come up, spin the car, get it in any position they want to real quick. But the indexing pin, I'll give you an example here. I'm going to lock this one in. So you want to work on the, the, just the top edge of the fender or the customer is going to look at this on a regular day-to-day -day basis. You're trying to find all the blemishes and get it out of the way. If you want to have it in a, in a nice uh, horizontal position, here you go. Now let's work on the bottom of the fender. Let's raise it up just a little bit. So you've got three degrees of in, uh, increment adjustment right here. Now if I want to go a little bit more, let's say I want to start working on the rocker panel. Degrees. I can get in here, I can see all the rust. All the corrosion has taken place. Look at my panel on the bottom. Pretty neat system. One guy can move this. He can do it all by hand. I'm going to lock this in place real quick. We've actually got a jack on each end. The jack goes for uh, 20 inches of stroke. In a nutshell, you can take the main mass that we have here, guys, lower it all the way down to its bottom position, okay? And then jack it up as high as you can. Either put a barrel under here or block it. Then go ahead and reposition everything so you can jack it up even higher. Uh, and all you're doing is we've got a linkage pin under here so you can adjust this up and down. It's real smooth operation, two-step instead of having four or five-step operations sometimes. Uh, handles come with it on the jack system if you order that option. We've got a little handle here, uh, just a, a locator pin to hold it so it stays in place. I'm going to go ahead and pull this baby out, raise it up real quick. Once again, I'm just a one-man band here, holding it in place. Let's go ahead and work on the, uh, the floor pans if necessary. Just to demonstrate how easy this thing works, I'm going to go ahead and let this baby go. Give her a nice little tug over. Here's a good example of just how easy it is to spin. I can actually flip this several more times around, but uh, good enough for the demonstration at this time. One guy can do this easy. You've got a locking pin system on each side of the car, whether it's my side or the right-hand side in the screen. And there we go. Pretty simple. Everything's adjustable, so you can move this for center of gravity each time. You've got adjustable mainframe arms that adjust in and out that you're trying to get to uh, for your frame member, whether you're going to drill holes in the, in the body itself or uh, tie into the subframe. <clears throat> also on the main mast here, I'm going to pop this out real quick here. See if I can get a good shot of this for you. Right here on the main mast crossbars we've actually got a series of holes drilled so you can try and line up uh, with your actual frame members or you can go ahead and punch holes through the body whatever is necessary. They also uh, tip up so you can take these and move them in an upward position at 90 degrees. Uh, there's bolt holes in place so once again instead of having it out this way it's actually going to tip up in this direction in case we're trying to tie into uh, the main portion of the frame on the cars. You can also bolt other things on, uh, in place at any one time with those. There's other options you can buy. You can actually get the uh, motor mount attachment. Say you're not using any of this right now. You can get a motor mount attachment hanging engine uh, right on this main mast that comes off of here. And the other thing you can do is you can buy some uh, saddle couplers that we have. And the saddles actually hold the rear end of a car. So you can have it at a nice upward working position, say about 40 inches to 50 inches, depending on the operator's height, and rebuild the rear end. Something to do with, uh, you know, with your rotisserie when you're not using it, it's not in production, it's not making you some money, uh, buy some of these other options and uh, use it in other ways. Anyway, this is the auto rotisserie. One quick little thing I want to show you. We've got six inch casters on it so it spins around real easy. I'm not really leaning into it. It's real simple to get around. Larger casters you need for the, uh, for the shops that we have. It also expands out. <clears throat> We've got a, a main member, cross member that runs uh, between the two right and left hand sides. This is actually adjustable so you can dial it in. Uh, we go out to about 18 feet. This is currently about 13 feet you're seeing in the video. Uh, all that locks into place and that bar actually comes with it. So 
not only do we have adjustment for the longer cars when you get to the 18, 20 foot uh, range for some of the vehicles, uh, covers a lot of ground. Once again, one last time on the, uh, the casters, if you're going across expansion joints or most paint shops, the, the floors have so much paint on them, it's just pitiful. Things don't roll very well, but they do in this case. Once again, this is the uh, auto rotisserie and it's a Merrick original product. Turn this around here real quick. Rolls pretty good. If you have any questions, please call the factory at 1-800-568-7423 or look on our website for uh, some of our local, uh, for some of the dealers that actually carry these products in their catalogs. Once again, thank you for your time.